Greetings, YouTube. I'm going to be talking today about a report uh, that has been released for, from the NAACP Born Suspect Stop and Frisk Abuses and the Continued Fight to End Racial Profiling in America, and there's a PDF attachment to this. Um, it comes out the same day that Ferguson, Missouri uh, Police Chief Thomas Jackson released this video apologizing to, apologizing to the family of Michael Brown for the death of their son, and the day after South Carolina Highway Patrol Trooper Sean um, Grubert was arrested for opening fire on an unarmed black man, LeVar Jones, whom he had pulled over for a seatbelt violation. Uh, the DOJ also said yesterday that they would be an, begin an investigation into the deaths of John Crawford III, who was killed by police at a Walmart last month. Uh, the 22-year-old man was, according to the surveillance video, walking and talking on a phone with an air rifle, air airsoft rifle he picked up, had, actually it was a pellet, pellet gun, had picked up, unboxed from the Walmart shelves. Uh, now, what's interesting in all these cases to me is how blazingly obvious it is to anyone without the racial bias of whitewashing can see what happened here. Um, Michael Brown was shot because he was a suspect in a crime. And I'm not saying he's innocent, but he was a suspect. He had not been proven guilty, and from everything we've been able to tell so far, he was just murdered. And now the chief is apologizing. Uh, Sean Grubert shot LeVar Jones because he pulled him over for a seatbelt violation. He ordered LeVar Jones, you can go watch the video if you want, he ordered LeVar Jones to get out of the vehicle, which is unusual. Seatbelt violation. It's a ticket. Or a verbal warning. Alright? To get out of the vehicle. Mr. Jones complied. He's standing in the driver's side at the door with the door open. I've seen the video. He then asks Mr. Jones for his identification. Mr. Jones leans into the vehicle to get his identification, whereupon the police officer opens fire. In the direction of a garage, a gas station, because he pulled him over in a gas station. Who knows where those rounds could have gone? One of them hit Mr. Jones in the hip. All the time, Mr. Jones threw his hands in the air, not he literally as soon as the first shot, shot was fired he threw his hands in the air and he started backing away as fast as he could and the guy just kept right on shooting and during this entire thing mr jones was completely composed the tone of his voice was level i have never seen composure like this in a human being it was astounding and during the video which was caught on tape the gruber accused him of lunging into the vehicle. He didn't lunge into the vehicle. Watch the video. He leaned into the car to get his ID. Lots of people don't carry their ID on them. They take, get in the car, they put their wallet in the cup holder or the dash or something. I know many people that do this. I don't, but many people do. So I have to go for my ID. I have to do this. Is that going to be a suspect move? Probably not, because I'm white. Now that particular cop has been fired, and now he's been arrested. He endangered the public. And lastly, we have um, John Crawford III, who was carrying a pellet rifle in Walmart when he was killed. Now, this was in Ohio. Ohio is an open carry state, just like New Hampshire is, which means Mr. Crawford could legally have been walking around with a loaded AR-15 in his hand in Walmart, and it would have been legal. And there are people who have done this. We have video footage. We have pictures of groups of men carrying assault weapons in stores in America, in open carry states. None of them have been shot. Why? They're white. This is all about race. All of it. Now, there's something really terrifying I'm going to talk about here. Ohio police given were given a pep talk on shooting scenarios ahead of Walmart the, of, the, of the Walmart encounter. The police officer who shot dead a young black man in a Walmart store in Ohio, as he uh, as he held an unloaded BB rifle, pellet rifle, had less than two weeks earlier received what prosecutors called a pep talk on how to deal aggressively with suspected gunmen. Sean Williams and his colleagues in Beaver Creek, a suburb of Dayton, were shown a slideshow evoking their loved ones and the massacres at Sandy Hook, uh, Columbine, and Virginia Tech while being trained in a 23-24 to 24 
on, on 23rd to 24th July in confronting active shooting shooter situations. If not you, who then? Officer was asked by this presentation, alongside a photograph of young students being led out of the Sandy Hook Elementary School in December, uh, in December 2012. The caption uh, remi uh, reminded the trainees that 20 children and five adults were killed before police arrived. And as the person that's posting this link says, horrifying. So these cops aren't being trained to protect and serve. They're not being trained to de-escalate de a situation so everybody gets to go home. They're being trained as soldiers. They're being trained to shoot and maybe ask questions later. Specifically, shoot black people. And to be very pointed, to shoot black men. So anyone who thinks this isn't about race is deluding themselves. You would not don't have just rose-colored glasses on, folks. You are wearing rose-colored contact lenses. As I've said before, race in America and the issues that we have with it have been laid down over decades to create the institutionalized levels of racism we see that benefit white people over anyone that isn't. And here we have it, folks. We have a case of men being gunned down because police see them as a danger when they aren't. Guy gets out of his car because he was told to. Guy goes into his car because he was told to. Get shot. Guy talking on a phone with a pellet rifle in his hand in a state that would allow him to have and carry around an assault weapon. Shot and killed. Well, white people do this all the time and no one shoots them. That's okay. So the lesson is clear. If you're a black male, you are a target. You are a suspect for the very reason that you were born black. It's disgusting. And it's something that we need to address. And we need to stop pretending that institutionalized racism doesn't exist in America. We have to stop pretending that we are in a post-racial world because we are not. Yes, we have a black president. whoop fucking new. There are still men being gunned down in the street. Why? Because they're black.